The National Standard of Canada for Psychological Health and Safety in the Workplace is a framework for organizations that want to identify those processes or policies or procedures in the workplace that have the potential to impact the psychological health and safety of employees. What we heard from employers were they weren't sure where to begin or where to invest limited resources. They wanted a framework so that they knew that they were following best practices. In 2008, Dr. Martin Shane wrote Stress, Mental Injury and the Law in Canada for the Mental Health Commission of Canada and identified that there was a trend where employers were being increasingly held responsible for providing a psychologically healthy and safe workplace. From there, the development of guarding minds at work happened to assist employers in recognizing what that is. But that's just one tool. And what we really wanted was something for all employers to be able to have that framework, that roadmap, if you will, in 2009, we had a consensus conference to say, is there value in having a voluntary standard on psychological health and safety? And we brought together people from the standards making organizations like CSA and BNQ, government representatives, people from labor, people from organizations, from corporations, and from policy and research. And all of them agreed that a voluntary standard that provided this framework was valuable. The, the core framework of the standard is similar to other uh, management standards, occupational health and safety standards, in that it's the plan, do, check, act type of framework. What's different about this is that in the annex and throughout are many resources and supports to help people understand what is required and how they can do it. Um, many of the resources point to free tools that people can use in order to do this with very little budget. It is part of a journey. It's something that will take time and will be implemented into workplaces over many years. But the exciting news is that anyone, any organization can start and have the support and have the information that they need to do it immediately. The standard itself calls for the participation and engagement of all workplace stakeholders, from employees to frontline managers and supervisors to union or labor representatives, all the way up to the C-suite. It's really important to understand that psychological health comes primarily from the way that we interact with each other. So all stakeholders have to take responsibility, have to be part of this, but all of them will also benefit. People have asked if this is a standard for people with mental illness. And in fact, a psychologically healthy and safe workplace is good for everyone. It isn't necessarily just for people who are struggling with mental health issues, but rather for all people as prevention and promotion are part of the standard. The implementation of this standard will make a difference to a lot of people. Much of the work that I do involves interventions when workplaces have already become toxic and nobody wins. The managers who are struggling to uh, manage in a toxic work environment suffer. The labor and union representatives who are trying to help out suffer. The employees suffer. And so by implementing a standard that actually identifies and prevents psychological uh, health and safety problems, we can benefit all of the people in the workplace and avoid some of those really difficult situations. When you think about the experts that were around the table to create this standard, there is very few organizations who could possibly purchase that kind of knowledge and power to create something that really can make a difference in the workplace. The fact that this standard is going to be made available at no cost to employers for the first five years should really encourage people to act now, to go on to the website, to download a copy of that standard and start to look at which pieces you can begin to implement right now.